Have you picked up pumpkins for Halloween yet? How do you make a choices and pick up the right one? We are constantly making choices in our lives since we wake up. Should I get up or sleep for a few more minutes? Should I make my bed first or open bright first? Making choices is a fundamental part of daily life. Sometimes the choice is easy and straightforward, but some of them might take some time and thoughts. Boba has to make a Don't. good choice Boba, as well. No. Boba, no. Thank you. She is such a cutie. We all depend on our intuition, personal preference, and experience to make choices, such as picking pumpkins. When I saw this pumpkin, I immediately thought about mushroom, which is another object that I love to paint. It was left on a shelf with other ordinary pumpkins. That's why it stood out so much to me. I decided to get it without any doubt. Some people might not think that I make a right decision, but for me, this pumpkin is unique and cute. Each step of sketching, I am making choices, including how many pumpkins to include in my painting, and what lighting resource that I should adopt. Even for the details of the pumpkins, I wonder if I should extend the tendril to be in front or on the side of this pumpkin. I'm so used to using certain colors when I paint. However, I try to encourage myself to explore different brands and shades so I can create a different look and atmosphere of my artwork. Just like these maple leaves, they are from the same tree but have different colors on each leaf. How amazing and beautiful they are. Human decision making is a complex process influenced by a variety of factors, including personal experience, cultural and social influences, emotions, values, beliefs, environment, motivation, and even Bias. When I was younger, I did not have to worry too much when I made my decisions. For example, I decided not to retake the annual high school entrance exam in Taiwan, although I did not get into the top high school in my region. Why not? I just simply did not want to delay one year to complete my high school. I promised myself and my dad that I would get into the top national art university right after high school. Why was I so sure that I could do it? It's just my motivation. I did not consider any what ifs. After working for years after college, I chose to study in the U.S. for my master's degree. Did I worry about living alone overseas, especially in another language? No, not at all. Instead, I was excited and happy 
to achieve my goal. I made this decision based on my emotions, beliefs, environment, and some bias for sure. While getting older, I don't make decisions like before because of my responsibilities and concerns. Does it mean that I cannot achieve my goals? Of course not. I just need to take everything into consideration before making choices. I have received some requests of how to paint pumpkins after posting the short version of my pumpkin painting. I could easily repaint the painting and make a longer video. However, I decided to create this painting with a more complex composition. I keep the focus of this painting in the middle ground, which is where the main pumpkins are. In order to emphasize these pumpkins, I make the foreground and the background blurry. I did worry that I might make a wrong choice by failing to paint it because of my fear, a lack of self-confidence, and the anxiety of the unknown. However, without trying, I would never know how I could improve myself, right? That's why I made this choice. Just remember that no decision is entirely without risk. So embrace the learning opportunities that come with the choices you make. The decisions you make in life play a significant role in shaping who you are. Your decisions reflect your values, priorities, and character. Over time, the accumulation of choices forms your life's path and defines your identity. I am a believer of everything that happened for some reason. I have been through so much in my life, including studying abroad by myself, going through a terrible divorce, and raising my daughter by myself. Do I ever regret those decisions? No, I can tell you that. Those experiences have made me who I am now. Now I'm devoting myself to be a full-time artist who can share my art knowledge, skills, and life experience with others. I'm still working on it, and the choices I make will help me get there.
Please take ownership of your life and actively shape your path by making choices that align with your aspirations and values. Never make decisions to please or conform to the expectations of others. Prioritizing your own authenticity and happiness in decision making is crucial for leading a fulfilling life. Creating art is a deeply personal and expressive process, much like making life choices. You can create any artwork that reflects your unique perspectives and creativity. The authenticity and personal expression can lead to the most meaningful and impactful art. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you enjoy today's video and get some inspiration. Please drop me a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Until next time, happy painting!